Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to machine text into your parts. You can use this ability to add logos to your parts or to label components such as switches and knobs. To add text, first we click the text button. Then click in the workspace. Let's type the word volume, for example. Notice that text defaults to the comment line type. If we want the text machined, we need to change the line type to auto. On the numeric bar, we need to select a font. The special fonts eMachine Shop 2D and eMachine Shop 3D are specially designed for machining. The 2D font is recommended when cutting fully through a sheet. Otherwise, the 3D font is recommended. The 2D font has no internal cutouts for letters such as O or P. This ensures that the internal parts of the letters stay attached to the sheet. The 3D font has rounded corners. This is most suitable for the circular cutters used during machining. You can use any of the other fonts as well, but then you need to take care to round sharp corners for machined parts and to keep parts of letters attached to the sheet when cutting through. Also keep in mind that machined text cannot be as small as printed text. We recommend keeping the vertical size of the text at least 0.2 inches. Adding text to your machine parts is easy. Thanks for watching, and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips. Bye for now.